Hello, I'm Ken Eels, photographer for Randall Roof, and today I'm here to talk to you about your lens aperture. That's right, lens aperture, and why it's important, and how you can use it to make different effects with your photographs. Now, first of all, the aperture is basically, if you have the lens, it's the size of the hole that lets the light through. For example, the smaller the number, the bigger the opening. For example, a 1 could be something like this, where a 28 would be like... Okay, that's the first thing you need to know. Second thing is, when you're shooting a picture, and you want, let's say you're taking a picture of me right here, and you want to blur out the background. You want me to stand out, and you would like to blur out the background. Well, what you want to do then is set a low, a low like a 1.0 or 2.8. That way I'm in focus, and the physics of it, is the background will be blown out, so it's out of focus. That makes me, makes me, or whatever your main subject is, kind of pop out. It's like, whoosh, here I am. However, if you want to do just the exact opposite, and you want the background to be in focus along with me, you would go to a higher, say, 14, 16, 18, 24, 28, and the image, assuming your uh, camera's focused on me uh, as a main subject, your background's going to be either very sharp or close to very sharp in focus. So depending on the effect you're looking for, uh, you can set up your camera to do that particular effect. So until next time, I'm Ron Roof, thank you for watching, have a good day, and may God bless you.